Bonjour, my name is Jean-François La Liberté. Over the past few years, a good number of investigations have been devoted at understanding plant virus interactions at the molecular level. These studies have highlighted the importance of host factors involved in lipid homeostasis and vesicular transport in the secretory pathway. Concurrent to these molecular studies, an avenue of investigation at the frontier of molecular virology and cellular viral biology has emerged. These studies have shown that for plant viruses, like animal viruses, there's an increased accumulation of intracellular membranes during replication. For instance, this proliferation is observed as a large amount of lipids being synthesized during turnip mosaic virus infection, here shown in green, and the cell wall in magenta. This lipid accumulation is translated at the ultrastructural level as an aggregation of vesicular structures often derived from the endoplasmic reticulum. These form quasi-organelles known as viral factories that provide the required environment for coordinating various virus processes like genome translation and genome replication. It is also becoming clear that enclosing viral RNA complexes within membranous complexes is in needed for cell-to-cell -cell movement of the virus. Here, this movie clip shows the movement of such a viral RNA complex from one cell into another. This contribution consequently aims at presenting the latest development at both the molecular and cellular level of what we know of cellular remodeling during plant viral infection. Topics being presented are the architecture of the plant viral factories, the host and viral proteins involved in cellular remodeling, and the functional link that exists between viral RNA synthesis and cell-to-cell -cell movement of the virus. This chapter should appeal to anyone who is interested in cellular virology and for those who are interested in how imaging cellular events can provide novel perspective of how a virus replicates inside its host cell. It also provides an excellent opportunities to increase one's awareness for those that are not familiar with plant virology. Lecturers and students will also find important and interesting information of how cellular remodeling is taking place in plant cells and how molecular processes are co-opted during replication. With food security being on everyone's mind, it is imperative to realize that climate change is having an important impact on plant pathogens, and we may forecast that plant diseases caused by viruses will be on the rise. It is thus imperative to develop new plant cultivars that will be resistant to plant viruses. Plants have the natural capacity to defend themselves against viral infections, but viruses may ultimately overcome these resistance. If we want to introduce robust viral traits into crop plants, it is imperative to understand precisely the interplay between viruses and hosts and to identify bottlenecks of investigations. This chapter, published in the first issue of the Annual Review of Virology, provides interesting avenues for the future in developing plants that will be resistant to a whole array of viruses.